What we are doing here is a structural condition assessment of the Lawson siphon. Uh, we are taking concrete core samples of different parts of the aprons. Uh, we are also taking soil samples on these spots. Um, apart from that, we are doing a confined space entry to assess the entry points of the barrels and the condition of those pipes. It's only the first 25 meters of each barrel, but that will give us a good indication of what could be the condition of the whole asset. What, the, uh, what we're wanting to achieve today is uh, to access both barrels of the siphon. The work that the boys are going to be doing here uh, is confined space activities and they're going to be doing some uh, uh, visual inspections and observations of the internal uh, integrity of the, of the siphon and some non-destructive testing. We need to take certain precautions. And the three main areas that we're probably looking at there is firstly identification of confined space, then uh, looking at the, the, the quality of air within the confined space. We make that safe by um, ventilating the area. And that might mean putting some sort of equipment inside the uh, uh, confined space just to ventilate it over a period of time, or open up doorways and entry points and let the, let the actual confined space breathe for a while. The other is to make sure that we've got um, testing, or at least the initial testing of the, of the atmosphere. And that's, that's a key part of what the boys are doing today, is ensuring that they provide the ventilation, test the atmosphere for air quality before we put anyone in there. There is a lot of information available through legislation. Um, so here we use uh, Safe Work New South Wales and there's a lot of resources also that you can utilise. Um, you've got uh, the inspectorate, you have um, consultants uh, in areas. Due to good planning from the project team and everyone involved, the job was completed safely and everyone was able to go home safely at the end of their, their work day.